Well, I'm here in the theater district area of Houston, and while I was in the city, I also had a chance to play some music at Adair Kitchen. This downtown area of Houston was divided into districts back into 1995. They include the Main Street Corridor and the Market Square Historic District, and this one right here, the Houston Theater District. Collectively, these three are sometimes called the Houston Skyline, or they make up the Houston Skyline District. And so the footage I'm showing here is what the Houston skyline looks like from the ground. And this place is actually home to the tallest skyscraper in Texas, the J.P. Morgan Chase Tower. Houston's downtown theater district spans 17 blocks. And even though the name was coined in 1995, the history of theater in this area goes back to 1947 when they opened up the Alley Theater. The Alley is actually the third oldest continually operating theater in the U.S. It's one of the premier theater companies in the U.S. outside of New York City, and it was was a pioneering company in terms of bringing theater beyond those major metro areas like New York City. More than 2 million people are estimated to visit the Houston Theater District uh, every year, and they're said to have around 19,000 seats for live performances and about 1,500 movie seats right around this area. It actually ranks second in the nation in size, and so it's a big cornerstone of the arts community where they actually have nine performing arts organizations here. There's four different major venues from Jones Hall, which is where the Houston Symphony plays, then the Wartram Theater Center, where the Houston Grand Opera and Houston Ballet play, the Alley Theater, where they have plays, and the Hobby Center for the Performing Arts, where they have touring Broadway shows and more. So Houston's actually one of only five cities with permanent professional resident companies that cover opera, ballet, symphony, and theater. One of the notable places is the Bayou Place, which is an entertainment complex. And the major music venue there is the Bayou Music Center, where you can go and catch some really popular music up there on the stage in a really big space. Since theater is so dense around here, it's not necessarily easy to find a lot of restaurants when you're just walking around. Although there are a few really popular food halls within this area. The Lyric Market is located right by the Lyric Tower, and they have a variety of food inside this new food hall. So I was able to get some Chinese food. They do have a bar area there where they have live music going on. And I was able to catch Guillermo Serpas playing. Another notable spot right across the street from the Lyric Market is Birre Poretti's. They've been serving up Italian food here for over 50 years. And I was able to check it out once when they had live music going on up there with Bubba McNeely. Ultimately, we can head over to Adair Kitchen, which is located in the Bel Air area or the West University area of Houston. I had a good time playing music out there to all the folks that were hanging out before heading out. Every day I wake up and I try to figure it out. I drink a cup of coffee and then I jump into the shower. Every day I wander, I wander down the Mississippi River All the way in Illinois I spent time in Memphis Well, I've been to New Orleans But the places that I think about Are the places that we've been Thanks for checking out this video. I'm posting all about touring around Texas and the music scene of Texas, including my own songs here on my YouTube channel. So go ahead and click on my YouTube channel and check out those thumbnails and see which of those topics are interesting to you. Give those videos a view. And thanks for giving this video a view.